When we think of climate change, our minds often conjure images of melting ice caps, rising sea levels, and extreme weather events. These are the dramatic and undeniable consequences of our warming planet, capturing headlines and demanding our attention. Yet beyond these visible changes, a web of interconnected and less conspicuous impacts unfolds, quietly reshaping our world. These hidden side effects, often overlooked, are no less significant, weaving a complex tapestry of consequences for humanity and the natural world alike. From the air we breathe to the delicate balance of ecosystems, climate change is leaving its mark in subtle yet profound ways. In this exploration, we delve into the lesser known repercussions of a changing climate, revealing the hidden costs that demand our understanding and action. Join us as we journey beyond the obvious, uncovering the intricate ways in which climate change is reshaping our world from the ground up. The very air we breathe, essential for life, is becoming increasingly burdened by the effects of climate change. Rising temperatures exacerbate air pollution, trapping harmful pollutants and triggering respiratory problems. As our planet warms, the conditions ripen for the formation of ground-level ozone, a major component of smog. This invisible threat irritates the lungs, aggravates asthma, and increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Vulnerable populations, particularly children, the elderly, and those with pre-existing respiratory conditions, bear the brunt of these impacts. Their compromised respiratory systems make them more susceptible to the harmful effects of air pollution, leading to increased hospitalizations and even premature deaths. Climate change acts as a threat multiplier, amplifying existing health inequalities and placing an increasing strain on healthcare systems worldwide. As the world warms, so too do the opportunities for disease-carrying insects to thrive. Mosquitoes, carriers of diseases like malaria, dengue fever, and Zika virus are expanding their ranges, bringing with them the threat of outbreaks. Warmer temperatures accelerate the mosquito life cycle, allowing them to reproduce more quickly and increasing the number of infected insects. These insects then act as vectors, transmitting these debilitating and sometimes deadly diseases to humans. Furthermore, extreme weather events such as floods and hurricanes create stagnant water sources, ideal breeding grounds for mosquitoes. These events can displace communities and disrupt healthcare infrastructure, making it even more challenging to control outbreaks. Climate change is altering the landscape of infectious diseases, posing significant risks to human health, particularly in vulnerable regions with limited access to healthcare. As temperatures soar, so too do the risks to human health. Heat waves, becoming increasingly frequent and intense, pose a direct threat to human life. Exposure to extreme heat can lead to heat stroke, a life-threatening condition that occurs when the body's temperature regulation system is overwhelmed. Vulnerable populations, such as the elderly, infants, and those with chronic illnesses, are particularly susceptible to heat-related illnesses. Their bodies are less able to cope with extreme temperatures, making them more likely to experience heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and other complications. Urban areas, with their concrete landscapes and lack of green spaces, experience what is known as the urban heat island effect, where temperatures can be significantly higher than surrounding rural areas. This exacerbates the impacts of heat waves, putting urban populations at increased risk. The increasing frequency and intensity of heat waves driven by climate change pose a growing threat to human health particularly in densely populated urban centers and regions with limited access to cooling infrastructure. Climate change is not just an environmental issue, it is also an economic one. The shifts in weather patterns and the increasing frequency of extreme events are disrupting economies worldwide, particularly in sectors reliant on predictable climates, like agriculture. Droughts, floods, and heat waves can decimate crops, leading to reduced yields and economic losses for farmers. These losses ripple through the agricultural supply chain, impacting food prices, livelihoods, and global food security. The unpredictability of weather patterns makes it challenging for farmers to plan for the future, leading to uncertainty and financial instability. Traditional farming practices, often passed down through generations, 
are becoming less reliable as climate change disrupts established growing seasons and rainfall patterns. The economic impacts of climate change on agriculture are far-reaching, affecting not only farmers but also consumers, businesses, and global food systems. As sea levels rise and coastal erosion intensifies, coastal communities face an uncertain future. Homes, businesses, and critical infrastructure are at risk from flooding and storm surges, leading to significant economic losses and displacement. Rising sea levels also threaten freshwater resources in coastal areas. Saltwater intrusion, the movement of saltwater into freshwater aquifers, can contaminate drinking water supplies and harm coastal ecosystems. The tourism industry, a vital source of income for many coastal communities, is also vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Rising sea levels, beach erosion, and damage to coral reefs can deter tourists, leading to job losses and economic hardship. Coastal communities, often on the front lines of climate change, face a multitude of economic challenges as they grapple with the rising tides and the increasing costs of adaptation and resilience measures. Coral reefs, often described as the rainforests of the sea, are vibrant ecosystems teeming with life. They provide food and shelter to a quarter of all marine species, playing a crucial role in the ocean's health. However, these underwater cities are facing a grave threat from the rising temperatures associated with climate change. As the ocean absorbs excess heat from the atmosphere, water temperatures rise, leading to a phenomenon known as coral bleaching. This occurs when corals, stressed by the warmer waters, expel the symbiotic algae living in their tissues, causing them to turn white. While corals can recover from bleaching if conditions improve, prolonged exposure to high temperatures can be fatal. Mass bleaching events, once rare, are becoming more frequent and severe, pushing coral reefs towards the brink of collapse. The loss of coral reefs would be catastrophic, not only for the countless species that depend on them, but also for millions of people worldwide who rely on these ecosystems for food, income, and coastal protection. The intricate structures of coral reefs provide a haven for a dazzling array of marine life, from tiny invertebrates to large predatory fish. Their loss would disrupt delicate food webs and have cascading effects throughout the ocean. Moreover, coral reefs act as natural barriers, protecting coastlines from erosion and storm surges. Without them, coastal communities would be more vulnerable to the impacts of rising sea levels and extreme weather events. The decline of coral reefs is a stark reminder of the far-reaching consequences of climate change. It underscores the urgent need to address this global challenge and protect these vital ecosystems for generations to come. As ocean temperatures rise and the chemistry of seawater changes, Marine species are being forced to adapt or relocate in search of more hospitable environments. This phenomenon, known as climate-driven migration, is disrupting marine ecosystems and having profound impacts on the distribution and abundance of marine life. Species with limited mobility, such as corals and some shellfish, are particularly vulnerable as they cannot easily escape warming waters. Fish populations are also shifting their ranges, moving towards cooler waters at higher latitudes or deeper depths. These shifts can disrupt fishing patterns, impacting livelihoods and food security, particularly in coastal communities that rely heavily on marine resources. The intricate balance of marine ecosystems is being disrupted, as predator-prey relationships are altered and competition for resources intensifies. The migration of marine species can also lead to the introduction of invasive species into new areas where they may outcompete native species or disrupt local ecosystems. This can have cascading effects throughout the food web, further exacerbating the impacts of climate change on marine biodiversity. The oceans, once thought to be vast and resilient, are proving to be highly sensitive to the impacts of human activities. The silent exodus of marine life is a clear indication that climate change is reshaping our oceans at an alarming rate. Understanding these changes and their consequences is crucial for developing effective conservation strategies and mitigating further damage to marine ecosystems. The impacts of climate change on biodiversity are not confined to the oceans. They are also being felt on land, where rising temperatures, altered precipitation patterns, and more frequent extreme weather events are disrupting ecosystems and threatening species survival. 
forests, which play a vital role in regulating the Earth's climate and harboring a significant portion of terrestrial biodiversity, are facing increasing pressure from climate change. Rising temperatures and prolonged droughts increase the risk of wildfires, which can decimate vast areas of forest, releasing massive amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and further exacerbating climate change. These fires also destroy critical habitat for countless plant and animal species, pushing some towards the brink of extinction. The loss of forests has cascading effects on the environment, affecting water cycles, soil stability, and air quality. As temperatures rise, many plant and animal species are shifting their ranges to higher altitudes or latitudes in search of cooler climates. However, these migrations are not always successful as species may encounter barriers such as urban development, agricultural land, or unsuitable habitats. The fragmentation of habitats further isolates populations, making them more vulnerable to extinction. The intricate web of life on Earth is being disrupted by climate change, with potentially devastating consequences for biodiversity and the essential services that ecosystems provide. Protecting and restoring habitats, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and adapting to a changing climate are crucial steps in mitigating these impacts and safeguarding the planet's biodiversity for future generations. The impacts of climate change are not just environmental. They are deeply intertwined with human societies, particularly in coastal regions where rising sea levels and more frequent extreme weather events are forcing communities to confront the possibility of displacement. As sea levels rise, coastal erosion intensifies, inundating homes, businesses, and critical infrastructure. Low-lying island nations face an existential threat as rising seas swallow their land and contaminate freshwater sources. The Maldives, a nation of low-lying coral atolls in the Indian Ocean, is on the front lines of climate change, with much of its land area just meters above sea level. The government has been forced to develop relocation plans for its citizens, highlighting the stark reality of climate-induced displacement. Coastal communities around the world are facing similar challenges. In Bangladesh, one of the most densely populated countries in the world, millions of people living in low-lying coastal areas are at risk of displacement from rising sea levels and more intense cyclones. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, estimates that by 2100, hundreds of millions of people globally could be displaced by coastal flooding. The displacement of communities due to climate change has profound social, economic, and cultural implications. It disrupts livelihoods, severs community ties, and can lead to increased poverty, social unrest, and conflict over scarce resources. Addressing the root causes of climate change through mitigation and supporting vulnerable communities through adaptation measures are essential steps in mitigating the scale of this growing crisis. While rising sea levels threaten coastal communities, inland regions, particularly those in arid and semi-arid areas, face a different but equally pressing challenge drought. Climate change is altering precipitation patterns, leading to more frequent and severe droughts in many parts of the world. These prolonged dry spells have devastating impacts on agriculture, water resources, and livelihoods, often forcing communities to abandon their homes in search of water and sustenance. In the Sahel region of Africa, a vast belt of semi-arid land stretching across the continent, recurrent droughts have plagued communities for decades. Climate change is exacerbating these droughts, leading to crop failures, livestock deaths, and widespread food insecurity. Millions of people have been displaced within their own countries or forced to migrate across borders in search of better living conditions. Drought-induced displacement often leads to increased competition for scarce resources, such as water, land, and grazing pastures, which can exacerbate existing tensions and lead to conflict. Women and children are particularly vulnerable in these situations, as they often face greater risks of violence, exploitation, and trafficking. Addressing the drivers of climate change through mitigation efforts, such as reducing greenhouse gas emissions, is crucial. However, it is equally important to invest in adaptation measures, such as drought-resistant crops, improved water management techniques, and early warning systems to enhance the resilience of communities in arid and semi-arid regions and reduce the risk of displacement. As climate change displaces communities from coastal areas and arid lands, 
many are seeking refuge in urban centers, drawn by the promise of better opportunities and a more secure future. This influx of climate migrants, however, is putting increasing pressure on urban infrastructure, resources, and social services, exacerbating existing challenges such as poverty, inequality, and social unrest. Cities in developing countries, often located in climate-vulnerable regions and lacking the resources to accommodate rapid population growth, are particularly susceptible to these pressures. Informal settlements characterized by overcrowding, inadequate housing, and limited access to basic services are often the only option for climate migrants, exposing them to a range of health and safety risks. The arrival of large numbers of climate migrants can strain urban water supplies, sanitation systems, and healthcare facilities. Competition for jobs and housing can intensify, potentially leading to social tensions and unrest. Addressing the needs of climate migrants and ensuring their safe and dignified integration into urban environments is crucial for fostering social cohesion and building resilient cities. This requires a multifaceted approach that includes investing in sustainable urban planning, strengthening social safety nets, and creating economic opportunities for both climate migrants and host communities. By addressing the root causes of climate change and supporting vulnerable populations, we can mitigate the scale of climate-induced displacement and build a more just and equitable future for all. The hidden side effects of climate change, from the loss of biodiversity to the displacement of communities, paint a stark and sobering picture of the challenges we face. But it is not a picture devoid of hope. By understanding the interconnectedness of these issues and recognizing the urgency of action, we can chart a different course, one that prioritizes the health of our planet and the well-being of all people. This requires a collective effort, one that transcends national borders and political ideologies. We must accelerate the transition to a low-carbon economy, embracing renewable energy sources, promoting energy efficiency, and investing in sustainable practices across all sectors. Simultaneously, we must enhance our capacity to adapt to the unavoidable impacts of climate change, strengthening our resilience to extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and other climate-related challenges. Crucially, our response to climate change must be grounded in principles of equity and justice. Those who have contributed the least to the problem are often the most vulnerable to its impacts. We have a moral obligation to support developing countries in their efforts to mitigate and adapt to climate change, ensuring that no one is left behind. The future of our planet and the well-being of generations to come depends on the choices we make today. Let us act with wisdom, compassion, and unwavering resolve to address this defining challenge of our time.